We've all been there. You just got done releasing your 100th game this year, it's being nominated at the Game Awards, and Martin Scorsese just called wanting to make a movie about your game development career. It's all so boring. With all these modern tools and fancy intuitive UIs, game development is just way too easy. That's why you should install Godot 1.0. The 1.0 branch of Godot is unmaintained, but thanks to the awesome work done by Remy Verschelde, you can now install and run it on your computer. Use the GitHub link in the description to install the version for your machine, and when you launch it, you'll be treated to the beautiful project manager window. When you go to create a new project, the UI instantly has a heart attack because there's no project path. Please save it from its misery by clicking browse and then just choosing a path in your computer. I'll say open, then click on create and open your project to witness Godot 1.0 in all of its glory. While the engine is obviously pretty bare bones, you can see a lot of the foundation for what the Godot engine is today. You can create a scene by clicking on scene, new scene, and it will start a new scene. And I'll switch over to the 2D view here. And you can create nodes by clicking on this little file icon and it has like the node search menu. So I'll just create a sprite node. And we can even give the sprite node the default Godot logo by going over to load and clicking icon.png. And the version of Godot 1.0, the logo for it is a bit creepier than the one we have today, but he's still kind of cute. We can write some GDScript 1.0 code for our node as well. We can go over, make sure we have the sprite node selected, click on this file that I think that is supposed to look like a script. And then again, like the UI is a little confusing to do, but I think just do a path. I'll just save it in our one place. Uh, make sure that you give it a file name. So script.gd and you have to actually put this dot gd otherwise it doesn't like your uh, extensions um city so dot gd save and create and we have a little bit of our gd script 1.0 editor here very cool and just for this i'm going to just flip the uh, sprites vertically so i'll say uh, set flip v and i'll say true then save it to save the scene go back to our 2d view and drag the node into our view. Then you can run the scene and get yourself a little Godot 1.0 game. That's pretty cool. The best part of Godot 1.0 is you can export the game to a BlackBerry 10. So you can really tap into a big chunk of the gaming market with that. All jokes aside, I really love how Remy put the effort in to bring back the binaries for Godot 1.0. There is really no reason to do this other than preservation and to have some fun. This kind of stuff is a big reason why I love the Godot community so much. So please stop watching my video and go make the next big hit with Godot 1.0. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.